lesson 12. Let's get through it. Let's do it. This is a, this is a good one. 12 8 time D major. I'm striking at the very edge of my F sharps and C sharps. Number two, we can start with the right hand. One. What is this? No. Right hand. Left hand. himself for the we're on page 40 the 40th time you need to play every note accurately don't go faster don't play like it says here I predict in 2017 the fool singer will play these inaccurately that his accuracy will be poor and you must watch him before he develops speed yeah. um, Each line is the same pattern. F minor. G. A. B minor. Diminished, C sharp, diminished, yeah. And D. Okay, lots of notes, but you can memorize it by just knowing the pattern. Arpeggio, lower neighbor. Um, one, two, one. Going up, 
major, minor, minor, major, 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 diminished. Sorry, minor, diminished, major. Ah! Now we're at the rank time! This is exciting because this is a lot of good stuff here. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff here. What does this green say? This is in D major. Cut common time or cut time. The following breaks. The following exercise is in melody form. It's a tune. And the seventh and eighth measures are filled by using the breaks. Written below and numbered one to six. This will give six different breaks to use in the seventh and eighth measures. Memorize all six of these breaks, and each time you repeat the exercise, use a different break. This will allow you to repeat the exercise six times and use four different breaks each time. Then you see it gives you the tune. Okay, not anything. One, two, seven, two, with a flat seven, uh, five. So that's two, seven, five of five. It's not two, seven, it's five of five, which is the second. Uh, dominant on the second scale degree. So in the key of D, we have D, E7, flat seventh, dominant, A7, back to 1, D. Uh, so all of our breaks in that back to the D, right? Break! They're going to be on D, on the 1. Back to the second break. So maybe first learn the breaks, otherwise you'll freak out every time you look down there. You're like, ah! uh, learn them. First one. Not good. Ooh, that is a bluesy. Uh -huh. Oh yes. Um, second one. It's a hippity hop. And the lower neighbor of the third, the minor third to major third. Uh, and the fifth one. So that chromatic line B is hip there. The sixth one. I mean, that's the, the hammering is all off. Tune, we learned our break, sort of. That's six one I could do some work one. Uh, work on seven, eight, nine are the second part of the phrase. So the first phrase ends on a one, the second ends on uh, also a one, but ending. Um, notice each time the, uh, it's a harmony of uh, the first breaks all end on either B or A or C sharp, some sort of five harmony, or note for the five, leading back to a one, so the music keeps going. Whereas the seven, eight, nine, the last breaks, all end on a D, or F sharp, giving us a complete feeling of completion. Uh, those go like this. Uh. Ah. So that's like the kind of thing you could learn that in all keys. It goes, Take that break, and if you like that, apply it anywhere else. Uh, 